We're going to take 60 minutes to move through a deeply restorative practice for the whole body inside and out. For this practice, make sure that you have a couple bolsters. If you can have a big pillow and a little pillow, that's ideal. You can also use rolled up blankets or towels here in place of these pillows. I have a couple blocks as well. Um, if you don't have blocks, you can use books, stacks of books, and a blanket and strap. All right, let's begin on our back. Coming onto the large bolster, and I have a little incline here. So it's sort of like a reclined seat for us, reclined chair. And then using the small bolster under the knees, lying back. Making sure that you feel supported in the spine, the neck, the head. Let the arms drop down by your sides, closing your eyes. Let's turn the palms open. And as we open up the palms, we can feel the shoulders open, the collarbones broaden. As we close our eyes, we bring our attention to our breath, noticing the sensation and quality of your breath. Noticing where this breath is moving in your body. See if you can bring all of your attention to the breath. Follow it to the very top of the inhale, to the very bottom of the exhale. And gradually begin extending your breath. As you breathe in, feel the belly rise. Feel the chest rise. And as you breathe out, empty the chest, empty the belly. Using your inhale to cultivate space in your body, to connect to the present moment. Using your exhale to remove that space, to surrender to gravity, and let go of everything else. Breathing in the moment, letting go of everything else. Continue to bring all of your attention to this breath. As we hyper-focus our attention on our breath, we can come into the present moment. We can step outside of our monkey minds, outside of our restless hearts, and into the timeless space of the present moment. Following your breath, Feeling the full expression of the inhale, the full expression of the exhale. And now gently guide the body to release and surrender to gravity. So noticing any areas of tension, tightness, any resistance to gravity you can feel in your body. As you breathe out, we gently let it go. We're softening the space of the forehead, eyebrows, eyes, the space between the brows. We soften the temples, the cheeks, the jaw, softening the tongue and the throat. Release the neck and shoulders. Soften down through the arms, hands, fingers, and thumbs.
Breathing in, breathing out. Cultivating space in the chest as you inhale, surrender as you exhale. Feeling the full capacity of your lungs in your chest, feeling the beat of your heart. Feeling gratitude for these systems that keep us alive without any extra effort of ours. Softening your spine, releasing any tension, tightness or resistance through your hips and low spine. pelvis, the sacrum. Feel your seat on the ground. Softening down through the legs. Feel the weight of the legs on the floor, over your pillow or bolster. Feel the heels on the ground. As you breathe out, let the whole body surrender to gravity. Continue finding deeply extended breath. In and out. And we're gonna use our breath as we move through our practice today We'll use an extended breath whenever we need help coming back to the present moment or dropping into our bodies. We can use an extended exhale if we need help surrendering tension or tightness from the body, surrendering to gravity. Come into a gentle breath whenever you feel completely relaxed and at ease in a pose. We're using this time to cultivate some deep rest and restoration in our bodies, to calm the restless heart and slow down the monkey mind. We are honoring ourselves and giving ourselves permission to be in our bodies with our breath on the ground, letting go of everything else. We shift from thinking to feeling here, from doing to being. Let's take three deep and steady breaths in and out through your nose, feeling the full expression of the inhale. Using the exhale to continue to surrender to gravity. Do more like that. Gently and slowly, we can ground down through the feet and bend the knees. You may open your eyes. And we're just gonna slide that small bolster, if you have it, or towel down to the bottom of your mat, feet on the ground. And with the knees bent, just let the knees drop over to your left. Exhale your breath. You might notice you're sliding a little down your bolster, that's okay. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale to center, exhale over. And then as we come back over to our right side, come all the way over onto your side and we'll press up gently to a comfortable seat on our mat. We're gonna take a seat on one of our bolsters, either the big one or the small one. Just to elevate our hips, crossing the legs, 
We bring the palms to the thighs, palms down, and close our eyes. Taking a deep breath in, notice how the spine lengthens and the heart opens as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, let the shoulders drop down the back. Feel your hips sink into the sockets and the knees drop. Inhale, we lengthen upward. Exhale, we ground down. Two more breaths in and out. Feeling the space between the vertebra, the opening in the heart as you inhale, and that deep surrender to gravity as you exhale. At the bottom of this breath, we're gonna drop our chin down into our chest and just notice the stretch in the back of your neck here. Breathing into the back of the neck. Shoulders are back and down, spine is long. Very slowly rolling the right ear over to the right shoulder. As you breathe in, we can tilt the head back or lift the chin a little here. We're opening up through the left side neck, creating space between ear and shoulder. Exhale down through center, over to the other side. Cultivating space, noticing sensation, noticing resistance, back down through center, over to the other side. Now following your breath, inhale to come over, Exhale, down through center. Inhale, other side. And we'll just keep moving the head in this way, following our breath. If it feels okay for you, we can make full circles with our head, coming all the way around, opening the throat. Maybe two or three circles if you're doing that, and then change direction to even out the movement. Really opening through our throat and neck, softening our shoulders. And then making your way back to center, to neutral, lifting the head, shoulders pulling back and down. We're gonna take our palms together and just gently rub the palms, creating a bit of heat and energy in your hands, our healing hands. And then we'll take our left hand over to the right shoulder. We're just gonna squeeze the muscle, squeeze and hold. This is a little self-massage. If your grip isn't so tight, that's okay. You can always find it again. But if we can, we're gonna hold here and squeeze, breathing in, breathing out. Holding, breathing in. And as you breathe out gently, let the muscle go. Feeling it melt out of your hand. And then we're gonna squeeze along the shoulder all the way down the upper arm with our hand and then back up again along your shoulder up the side of the neck. Good, and take your time there when you get to the neck. We can come back down and up again. And we'll do the same on the other side. Let's rub the palms together. Take your right hand over to the left shoulder, the traps. We're gonna squeeze the muscle, holding on the inhale, holding on the exhale, holding on the inhale. Gently let the muscle melt from your hand as you exhale. And then we'll squeeze all along that shoulder to the upper arm. We'll come back up the shoulder to the side neck, squeezing slowly. And then back down again. One more time, all the way up the side of your neck. And then bring the palms together again, rubbing the palms. Gentle massage for the muscles of our face. We're gonna completely relax these muscles taking your fingers to the brow line and spreading them wide. We're gonna circle the fingertips and slide the fingertips up the forehead to the hairline. Medium pressure here, we're trying to move the skin and then keep on going all along the scalp to the crown of your head. Good, we'll do that two more times. Up the forehead, softening the space all the way to the crown of the head. 
One more like that, really softening the space. Steady breathing in and out. And then take your peace fingers, your first two fingers from the start of the brow line. We'll follow the brow line, medium pressure, slide the fingers along to the temples. Three times from the start to the end. Soften the brows and that space between the brows where we hold tension. And then hold your fingers at your temples and make a circle here, softening the eyes and the eye sockets. And then change direction of the circling. We often do this one for tension headaches, so just letting go of any tension building here. Sliding the fingers down to your jaw, we'll circle at the jaw. We want to soften our cheeks, jaw, tongue, and throat, changing direction of the circling. And then we'll take our fingertips just below the collarbones and we'll gently tap here. We're just using this tapping to reset the nervous system, to release any tension, tightness, any anxiety we might be harboring in the chest. Let it go. And then we'll bring the fingers between the ribs, just below the breastbone, lightly tapping here, continuing just to release and let go. And then fingers just below the lowest rib, tapping here for the digestive organs, for the cleansing organs, the liver, letting go. Now making fists with your hands, we're gonna take the knuckles behind the back to the kidney area, the mid low back, and just make little circles here. We can move down into the low spine and even into our hips behind us. A little self massage to get us going. Good. And then from where you are, we'll gently press forward into a tabletop position. So we can set our bolster aside. Coming onto your blanket. And if your knees feel like they want a little more cushioning here, you can always fold your blanket back and give yourself a little more under the knees. I'm just gonna clear my mat a little more. I wanna have wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and just stretch out the legs before we get started. Right leg comes back, we plant the toes and reach back through the heel. We can open up the back of the leg gently. Same stretch on the other side. Stretch and lengthen the back of the leg. You can come back to this one if you need it throughout our cat, cow. Otherwise, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Exhale, press the floor away. Hollow the belly round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, soften the elbows, send the shoulders down the back, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, dropping the belly, opening the heart. Exhale, press the floor away. Deep breathing, let the rhythm of your own breath guide this movement. Using the movement to get into the spine, the ribs, feeling the heart open as you breathe in, space between shoulders and ears, opening the throat, and as you breathe out, we're opening up the space behind our hearts. We're lengthening the back of the neck. And then to add a little more movement in, let's send our hips to the right as you exhale back into your heels, over to the left. And as you come forward, walk your hands a bit forward. Let's give ourselves some space. Over to the right with the hips, back into the heels, exhale. To the left and forward, inhale. Exhale, circle back. Inhale, forward. Good, exhale back. Inhale, forward. Opening up through the outer hip and low spine. Getting the blood oxygen energy flowing freely. We'll change our direction, circling the other way. Good. Evening out your movement, coming back to your neutral tabletop. And if you have your blanket Folded like mine, we'll unravel it so it's nice and flat. And we're coming onto our belly on our mat. 
nice and steady. Guide the body down. And we'll bring one hand on the other and rest our forehead on our hands. This is one of my favorite poses. I don't even think it is a pose. It's just my favorite. Uh, we let the feet tick tock side to side. This releases the hips and low spine. We get a little massage for the quads, for the belly, for the chest. We connect our forehead to the ground. Long breathing in and out. And lowering the legs down gently. On the next inhale, take your arms wide, straight out of your shoulders and drop your left ear to your mat. You can also take a little towel here under the head if you need it. And then when you're ready, we're gonna roll all the way over to our left hip. And we work to stack our hips and we're pressing the floor away with the right hand. My left arm is extending back behind me straight out of my shoulder, or I could alternatively bend the elbow and feel into that stretch. If it's feeling like too much here, you can also take your arm down by your side. And it'll be a little more of a subtle opening. We're getting into that left pectoral and the left shoulder. If we want the most restorative variation, we're gonna take our top leg, bend the knee, and then let the leg drop to the ground in front of us. And we'll use it for support here, just pressing the floor away and feeling the stretch through the left shoulder pectoral. If we wanna go a little bit deeper, we can pick up the top leg, bend the knee, and reach for the floor behind us. You could also use your prop if you can't get to the floor. Opening up deeply here. We can feel a little more twist in our torso and opening through the right hip. And a deeper stretch for that left pectoral. See if you can close your eyes and let go of any tension or tightness you're feeling in your body, any places of extra effort. So we soften the forehead, eyebrows and eyes, the jaw, tongue and throat, maybe the left arm and the left leg can relax. Long breathing in and out, just feeling this pose. We might be able to deepen it by taking our right arm high. This is gonna open up even more through the heart space, through both shoulders. If you're here and wanna go deeper, you can bend at your elbow and take your hand behind your low back, pulling that top shoulder back drawing the shoulder blades toward each other on the back body. And maybe we start to send hips and heart a little more forward. We might keep lifting through this knee and the body with the breath. And on your exhale, we're gonna unravel Bring the hand to the floor to guide you down, come onto the belly, and we're gonna very gently roll all the way over, all the way over to the right ear, to the right hip, extending the arm back behind you, pressing the floor away with the left hand. We might take the top leg in front of us to the floor for the most support, just pressing the floor away with the left hand. If we wanna go deeper, we can pick up the top leg, bend the knee and reach for the floor behind you. We might notice a difference from one side to the other here. In the body with the breath. Softening and releasing tension and tightness, letting go of extra effort, releasing maybe through the hips, that bottom leg. Releasing through the right hand, the right arm, softening through the forehead and the jaw. Use your breath. If we wanna go deeper, we can float the left arm high, reaching to the ceiling. From here, we might bend at the elbow and take the hand behind our low back, pulling the shoulders back, drawing shoulder blades toward each other, lifting through your heart, opening the hips. In the body with the breath. 
Remember, you can use your breath. You can find an extended exhale to help surrender to gravity, to let go of resistance in your body. You might notice the difference from one side to the other in this stretch. As you exhale, we'll carefully unravel. We can use the left hand to the ground to guide the body down, bringing one hand back on the other and resting forehead on hands. We'll pick up our feet again for my favorite stretch, letting the feet tick tock side to side. Lowering the feet down with control. On your inhale, we'll gently press up to the knees and we'll come onto our sit, bone, sit bones on the mat, sending the legs forward and the arms back. And we'll just kind of shake out the legs and circle our feet. And for the next part of the practice, we may need a strap we are going to slide ourselves up our mat. We're going to make sure our blocks are maybe just behind us, somewhere in reaching distance too. On the inhale, we'll lengthen the spine, lift the heart, holding the knees. And as you exhale, we're going to carefully roll back onto the spine, guiding your body down. And we'll just for a moment, hug those thighs toward the chest. Shoulders back and down. Good. and then lowering your feet to the floor. We're gonna take the right knee and hug it into the chest. Interlace the fingers at the knee and as you exhale, we'll pull it in. Here, with each exhale, we're gonna work to draw that thigh a little closer to the belly, a little closer to the chest. If your right hip feels a little funky in this one, we can circle the knee a few times. So I'll just start to open up that hip crease a little bit more. If you're circling, change direction. And then come on back into the stretch. Each exhale, we squeeze and pull the thigh toward the belly. We're massaging the ascending colon in this one. Shoulders drop toward the earth. We feel the back body really pressing into the ground dropping the chin toward the chest. So activating the body for a few breaths here as we squeeze, we might reach through our right heel. And with each exhale, keep squeezing. If you find that this grip on the knee is too much, you can also hold the back of your thigh and pull in that way. And let's use an extended exhale to really compress here. So we are massaging our digestive organs with this pose. There's some subtle restriction. Good, on the next inhale, we're gonna lift the heel. And this is where you may want your strap. So if you can reach for your ankle, no problem, outer edge of foot, or even your big toe, go ahead and use your hand. If you need more space, then you can use a strap. You can hook the strap around your foot. And we're coming into a half happy baby stretch with or without your strap. So you may be here with the, the hand, pulling the knee toward the armpit or toward the outer ribs and just kind of, again, compressing thigh over belly. Lengthening, we're also feeling that massage down into the floor through the back body with this one. We're gonna play with opening the leg slowly to the right. And you can use your strap if you have it, or if you have the flexibility, you're holding your foot. We might play with really extending that leg and reaching through the heel, coming back to center on the inhale out to the side slowly and gently as you exhale and just move at your pace, following the rhythm of the breath, holding longer if you like, just keep breathing. 
And we're opening up through that hip. And then when you're ready, we're going to hold open for a little bit longer here. Reaching through the heel, breathing into the hips, the inner thighs. On the next inhale, slowly bring the leg back to center. And then we're going to cross the leg over to the other side. So you can remove your strap if you have it. We're taking the left hand over to the right thigh and the right arm nice and wide. And then we're going to let that leg come all the way over to the right with control. So you may engage your core a little. It might help to shift your hips a little to your right before coming down. So we'll come all the way down. Good, all the way down to your side. If you need more support, you can take a blocker bolster under that leg that's coming over, that right leg. Otherwise, we're gonna come all the way down to the floor. We can play with dropping through our right shoulder as we gently press down through the knee. We might even turn the head and take our twist into the neck, closing your eyes. Breathing into the belly and spine. Use the extended exhale to start to surrender to gravity, letting go of extra effort in your body. In this stretch, we notice a subtle restriction of breath. We are cutting off half our lungs in this twist. Again, constricting the blood flow for a moment. Shifting blood, oxygen, and energy from one side of the body to the other. This is a beautiful detoxifying stretch for our internal organs. This whole sequence is really beautiful for the digestive organs. Slowly, we'll come back to center. Ground your right foot down. Pick up the left foot and we'll pull the left knee over the chest. So we're gonna come into the stretch on the other side. Keeping your strap nearby if we need it. Interlacing the fingers at the left knee, hugging it in on your exhale. And then just tuning into your hip if you wanna give it a little movement to cultivate space, we can circle the knee. We can also feel a subtle massage here as the thigh connects to the belly as we circle. Change direction. And then we'll bring the thigh over the belly. This is massaging our descending colon now, really pressing down through your spine. We can lengthen out the back of the neck, drop through our shoulders, pull the elbows inward. And we're active in this stretch, so we might be reaching through our left heel. With each exhale, we're squeezing the thigh closer to the belly. With each inhale, we hold the pose. And again, if we need to adjust the grip to maybe under the thigh, go for it here. We'll take a few breaths using that exhale to deepen the massage, to deepen the stretch. Good, one more breath. On your next inhale, we're gonna reach the heel up toward the ceiling or the sky. And if you can, we'll go ahead and reach for our ankle, outer edge of foot or big toe. If you want a little space, let's use our strap around the foot. Left hand on the strap if you're using it or on your foot. You can take your right arm wide if that feels good, maybe a little more stable. And we're gonna bend the knee and then gently open up to the left, a little half happy baby stretch for the other side. And you can play with straddle stretch by extending through your heel. 
Coming back to center on your inhale and then opening left as you exhale. And just finding a bit of movement with your breath here. Getting into the hip crease, getting into inner thigh, getting into the hamstrings gently, guiding the stretch. And we can hold a little bit longer. Opening up through the hip and inner thigh, breathing into the spaces that need a little breath. Feeling the back body on the ground. On the next inhale, we're going to guide the leg back to center. If you're using a strap, we can remove it now. Take your right hand to your left thigh, and then we'll let the leg come all the way down. If you need a little support, you can always place a block or bolster under this leg. Taking the left arm wide as you drop the right knee over. Feel into the twist through the torso. Work to drop your shoulder, to press down gently through the knee, and then settle into the pose. So letting go of extra effort through your hips, your shoulders, your neck, jaw, tongue, and throat. If it feels like a lot to turn your head to the left, we can keep the gaze upward. We might close our eyes, tuning into the breath, tuning into the body. Finding a deep and steady breath. Again, we notice that subtle restriction to the breath. See if you can return all of your attention to your breath. Let your awareness drop deeper into the vehicle of your body here. Feeling your breath in your body, your body on the ground, letting go of everything else. Gently on the inhale, slowly back to center, both feet on the ground, knees bent. And then we'll squeeze both legs over the body, holding onto your knees, your shins, or the backs of your thighs, giving them a nice squeeze. And if you're here and we can go a little further, we might be able to wrap our arms around our legs and even hold onto the elbows. So go where you can go. We don't need to overdo this one. We're just squeezing or hugging the legs over the belly lengthening the back of the neck and then breathing into the stretch and we can even use our breath to help this belly massage with each exhale we squeeze breath. Really pressing through the floor as well with the back body. Release your heels to the ceiling and just hold the backs of your thighs. Let's actively reach through heels, toes, circle our feet. And then we can bend the knees and open up for a full happy baby stretch, holding thighs, holding calves, ankles, or the outer edges of our feet, and maybe rocking side to side a few times. And pulling the legs back together, we're going to lower the feet to the ground. Bring your arms down by your sides, palms down. We'll just take a few breaths to lift and drop the hips subtly and steadily. And we'll try not to engage too much. 
We're just finding a subtle lift. So to lift, we'll press our feet into the floor, press into the shoulders, gently pick up our hips, inhale. Exhale, carefully lower down. So this is more about feeling the back body connecting to the earth than it is about lifting high through our hips. Of course, if that feels good for you, you can come all the way into your full expression of bridge. We'll just take a few breaths here. And then we're going to take our block, one of them, and bring it under the sacrum. So the next time we inhale and lift our hips, we'll take the block at its lowest setting under the sacrum or base of spine. <coughs> pulling the knees over the chest, holding your block or the floor, or you might feel better holding your legs. We're gonna circle the knees and feel this nice little massage with the block on the low spine. Changing direction. Back to center. Send your heels back to the ceiling, reaching through heels, toes, circling feet. And then we're gonna slowly lower the feet to the ground, bending the knees. And we can stay here in the stretch. We're coming into more of a sacral release. Or we can extend our heels down to the bottom corners of our mat. You can keep your arms down by your sides or take the arms nice and wide or even back overhead. So we wanna be comfortable in this pose. If this feels like a lot or it's a big stretch for you, you can always remove your block. We're going to see if we can stay in it for a few breaths together. And we'll use this pose to really drop into the floor. So we should really focus on surrendering the body to the ground in this one. We'll use a long breath in and maybe a longer breath out. So we start to invite a deep and steady breath in. And a deep and steady breath out, really extending the exhale all the way to the bottom of the breath. Inhale. Exhale. And with that extended exhale, really allow the physical body to melt over the block, to melt into the ground. Softening the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes, the jaw, tongue, and throat again. Releasing the neck and shoulders, the arms, the hands, the fingers. Releasing the chest and belly, the spine. Feel the shoulder blades connecting to the ground, the back of head. Feel your sacrum on your block settling into the block. Release the hips and pelvis. Release the spine. Releasing down through the hips, down through the legs, the knees, ankles, feet and toes. Long breathing in, longer breathing out, and let's return all of our attention to the sensation of the breath, to the body on the ground. And as we keep our attention and awareness with the breath and body, we come into the present moment again. We step outside of the monkey mind. Noticing any remaining tension or tightness, any places of resistance to gravity. And let's use the exhale to let it go. Giving yourself permission to be in your body with your breath on the ground. And that's it. 
letting go of everything else. Each time we notice our attention drifting into thought, we can always choose to guide it to the breath. We can use our breath as a landmark to the present moment and into the body. Maybe we continue to use an extended exhale here or we drop into a gentle, easy breath. If this stretch is really just starting to feel good for you, if you're just starting to drop in, please stay where you are. If you're ready to shift out of your sacral release with me, we're gonna ground down through the feet, bend the knees, arms down by your sides, and we'll lift off that block very gently, lowering the sacrum to the ground. We'll pull the knees over the chest. You can hug the knees. You can bring the forehead in. Exhale. And lower down. Dropping the feet to the ground. Taking your arms wide. And we'll just let the knees tick tock side to side. Just releasing through hips and low spine. And we'll take our block one more time. We're going to bring one hand behind the head, lifting the head. The other hand places the block there. And we'll set our head centered on our block. Bring your arms down by your sides, drop through the shoulders. And then just let the head roll on your block side to side. Gentle pressure back into the block. And we're opening up slowly through the neck. And we can feel the base of the skull against the block. Maybe we're hitting little trigger points here. So if you get into a tender spot, stay a little longer and just breathe into that. Side to side. Gentle pressure back into the block as we let the head roll side to side. Releasing tension and tightness through the neck and shoulders. And then drawing your head back to center on your block. Pulling the chin down toward the chest, pressing down through your shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. From here, we're gonna take one hand behind our head to guide it off your block, the other hand to remove the block. Both hands are gonna return to behind your head, and then you're gonna guide the head back onto the floor with control, all the way down. Good. Taking the arms wide, extending the heels back down to the bottom corners of the mat, starfishing the body. We're gonna take the last few minutes here. We can wiggle the hips to release through hips and pelvis. We might pick up the chest for a moment and then settle it back down, circling the hands and the feet. Opening, closing the jaw. 
And then guide your awareness, your attention back to your breath, back into your body. As you breathe in, feel the belly rise. Feel the chest rise. Exhale, empty the body of breath. Just feeling the wave of your own breath in and out of your body. With each breath out, feel the physical body drop into the mat. Feeling the back of head, the shoulders, the sacrum, the backs of the arms, the backs of the legs, the heels, all on the ground. Releasing all tension, tightness, and resistance from your body. Feeling the sensation of the ground holding the body. Really drop into the floor. Continu continuing a deep breath, or maybe we drop into a gentle, easy breath here. As we bring all of our attention to the breath, we guide our awareness deep into the vehicle of our bodies. In the present moment, we settle into the space holding thought. We settle just outside of the busyness of the mind. As we settle into the space, we can practice gently observing our thoughts, our feelings as they come, as they go. See if you can witness your own inner space without any judgment or attachment, like watching the cars pass on a, on a road, or watching a river flow by. Notice the space where you are in the present moment, the space holding thought. Noticing the stillness holding sensation and the silence holding sound. Acknowledge each time you drift away from this space, each time you drop into a thought or a feeling or get carried away. Each time you acknowledge, you can gently guide your attention back to the breath, the sensation of the breath in the body and the body on the ground.
Taking a deeper breath in now and a steady breath out. Noticing the sensations in the body. Any shift from the beginning of your practice to this moment. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Let the head roll side to side. Continue breathing deeply. On your inhale, we'll ground the feet, bend the knees. As you exhale, roll over to your right or left side. Coming onto your side for a few more breaths. And then very gently on an inhale, we'll press up to a comfortable seat on our mat. Take your time. You're welcome to sit on a bolster or a block here. Closing your eyes, taking a deep breath in. Feel the spine lengthen and notice how the heart opens. As you breathe out, let the shoulders drop down the back and the hips sink into their sockets. Let's continue to find that deep and steady breath. Feeling gratitude for this beautiful breath in the body, for the beat of our heart, for this time we've given ourselves to heal and restore. Bring your hands together at the heart, take a deep breath in and out. Thank you all for honoring yourselves, showing up for this practice. I hope you feel good in your skin. Thanks for joining. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying what we're sharing, please give us a like, and you can also subscribe to this channel below. And if you wanna follow us along on this journey, you can find us at kin.co or on Instagram at kinsite.